What's up, YouTube family, and welcome to today's episode of Tutorial Tuesdays. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use adjustment layers and um, styles in Capture One Pro. Okay, so basically, we want to go from this image right here to this image, all in Capture One. We're not going to Photoshop, nothing. And it's, it's quite it's quite simple. We just need like um, about five steps there about. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is um, know how adjustment layers work in Capture One Pro. Now, you can create a new layer here by just clicking the Add button. See, Adjustment Layer 1, or Push Command Z. Or you can look for your Layers tool somewhere. I don't know where it is in your Capture One, but Capture One is highly customizable. So if you can't find your Layers tools anywhere, mine is here, this is it. But if you can't find it anywhere, you can just go anywhere and right click and say add tool. So you say add tool and you look for layers and then you can find your layers, okay? So now once you have your layers, to you create a new layer, you click this add button here. Now please, the only thing that confuses people is this. This is different from creating a new layer in Photoshop. It's more like creating an adjustment layer in Photoshop. So your picture is not on this layer, it's still on your background. What happens here is any adjustments you do, okay? So now by default, the layer comes in as um, as completely empty. Think of it as a black mask in Photoshop, okay? So if I, while I have that layer selected, you see I'm on layer one here, if I increase my white, the warmth of my white balance or reduce exposure, you don't see anything, okay? You have to feel the layer to, to, um, to see the effect. So you can right click on it and say, feel mask, okay? And once you click fill mask, you see all the effects I did just show up now, okay? So I'm going to right click and or just press command Z on that. Okay, now if you want to localize the effects, you can pick a brush by pressing B or by coming here to click the brush tool, okay? And then we can right click and increase our brush size. Okay, so just like Photoshop, you have your hardness, opacity and flow, and then you can brush where you want that effect to be in. Okay, so that's that's pretty easy, right? Okay, another thing I'll just mention is that if you want to know where you have brushed and where you haven't brushed, in, um, in case your your edit is not this dramatic, once you press M, you can see this red mask that shows exactly where you have brushed and where you haven't brushed. Okay, so I'll just push Command Z, Command Z, and Command Z, Command Z again. Okay, so we're back to our background layer. Okay. Now, color grading or using um, styles and presets in Capture One, you have to do them on an adjustment layer. You can't do them on your background layer, okay? So the first thing you want to do is create a new adjustment layer. So you can hold on the add button here and say new field layer, okay? Now that saves you one step. You don't have to first create a new layer, then right click and say fill mask, okay? I'm going to press M to get rid of this, my red. Um, quick mask tool. Okay, now what you want to do is click on the layer, make sure it's orange, and then right click on it. Once you right click, come down to apply adjustments from, and then you have user styles. User styles are the ones you create yourself, and they are built-in styles that come with Capture One. You also have built-in presets here. So I'll just go to built-in styles. Uh, you, can, you can explore this and check. There are a lot of there are a lot of styles that change the way your image looks. Ooh, I like that one. Okay, so but I, I'm going to go to Spring, and I'm going to go to SPR07. Um, okay, so um, this does a lot, of, a lot of things to your image. Uh, if you come back to all your general settings, you can see that it reduced my highlights. It, it did a couple of things, right? But you can edit what, what it has done. So for example, it adjusted my curves and all of that. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is go to my, um, where is it now, my color balance because I know that this one affects it. So you can see in my mid-tones they added some warmth, in my shadows they added some cyan and also it increased the highlights a bit. So I'm just going to bring this back down because I feel like it's too much. Um, also my mid-tones I'm going to bring it back down. Okay, so here we are. Still looking too much and I'm just going to enhance the what I've done in my shadows. I'm going to make this shadows pop a bit more, more color. Maybe change the colors a little bit. I'm going to do the same for my mid-tone. 
and you can see that we're getting closer and closer to, uh, to that image okay i'm uh, also going to reduce my brightness a little bit quite a lot actually and then we are close okay so this is where we wanted to get to and this is where we are now it's pretty much the same thing um, i feel like our skin looks too saturated so i'm just going to go to this is skin tone um tool here in color editor i'll click this and then i just sample um her skin tone so when you want to sample you want to sample the mid tones not the shadows not the highlights and i can just reduce the saturation of her skin tone a little bit okay and voila we have we have this and how many how many minutes was that <laughs> Okay guys, so if you have any questions, please ask me in the comment section below. This is a very short video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned one or two things from it. Alright guys, see you in the next one. Cheers.